Hello, welcome back to Hexen. I am where I left off. I said I killed these Ettins and then didn't because I was too busy trying to make sure that it actually recorded. So here we go. We will punch this Ettin to death with our worst weapon in the game. So I was talking about Quake and the cerebral nature of Quake and Doom. And honestly, I think that Quake is a very good spiritual successor to... Where am I going? I'm going back to the seven portals. I'm going to the middle. I remember. Uh, very good spiritual successor to both Quake... Uh, both both Hex and but Doom and Doom 2, and of course uh, Hex and 2 is a great successor to Hex and itself. So this is going to be fun. If I could throw a flechette in there, I would. Unfortunately, I think it's the fighter that has the uh, grenades rather than these bombs. This is fine. I don't mind doing this. And I think, as a result, even if Quake could have used its scripting engine, it basically didn't. But it's possible that it was something that they made a new engine and then they made a new game and the new game was like Doom, i.e. You know, just fire and forget everything. Stones grind on the seven portals. That's what we're looking for. Um, you know, it's just a straightforward game. You run around, you shoot things and that's it. And the game didn't really need to be any more complex than that because the amount of new stuff that it brought us, specifically just in, in the ability to look around, in the way we did, and the way to interact with environments, and the fact that the environments had, you know, things above other things. There's actually more um, crystal vials right here, so I'm okay to have used quite so many as it. We're back on 21. Um, I don't think I used as many this, like when I did that cut in the previous episode, as I did the first time through. Uh, yes, by the way, I am playing blind. I say blind. Um, I'm playing. I have vague memories, but obviously it's been such a long time since I played this that I've lost track. That's basically where I sit right now. How am I dodging? This feels like I'm doing nuclear thrown in Enter the Gungeon type dodges, but in 3D and I can't see behind me. No, I have 2D, but I still can't see behind me. So I'm going to kill these through the fence, because it seems to make sense. And in a minute, we'll go in here, clear it out. Could do with some HP, so we should try and um, drain one of these Ettins through the fence. And then... Okay, fine, whatever. We'll finish off this floor to the extent... Uh, this uh, level to the extent that I intend to. Yes, please continue to shoot each other from behind. That is phantasmagorical. Uh, and then we'll go and see this secret level. Which I promise you is real. So I was actually kind of concerned that I wouldn't be able to figure out how to get to the secret level, but I think maybe they've, um, ooh, did you see that? Did you see that? That was another Enter the Gungeon type dodge, and that was an Enter the Gungeon type bad damage, so I, I'm not playing Enter the Gungeon, by the way, but I am watching Northern Lion play it, and if you like very easy arcade type games, it's definitely worth a look into, please. <laughs> Just, I think what happened there is this serpent, ah, you see, this serpent caused that centaur to put its shield up, whereupon I shot at it, <laughs> and it was already had its shield up because of the serpent, and it bounced off. Now, something else this game introduced, which I don't think any other game had, was that when all the enemies, you can tag a bunch of enemies, and if they die, things will happen. These are the, in this particular situation, we have produced a bridge by killing all the centaurs. Give me your health. I'm gonna maybe not waste too much mana because we do want to go to the secret room. Check out my Binding of Isaac uh, series, by the way, if you're enjoying this series. Because uh, that <laughs> very much explain why I just said secret room instead of secret level. A couple more shots on this thing, I think. There we go. Look at that. Previously, you would not be able to look down there. But it's nice to have a, a modern take on these things. Now, what you can do here is bound. Oh, yes. Oh, shit me. Don't mind using these with... Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Game. You've done it again. You're very, um, very trolly. Well done. Very trolly. We've got the Wings of Wrath, which suits me to a T. Got plenty of ish mana. Plenty ish of mana. It's me. Okay, well. 
whatever. Let's go and see these stones that ground on the seven portals. It basically means uh, these. These have gone down. We can get in here now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw in a quick save, and then we're gonna gonna die. Lol. I don't even remember. <laughs> Maybe we just jump in here. No. Do we not just jump in there? Oh, by the way, that um, that one commenter did say. Notice how these have rotated, by the way. I think that's really cool. Um, all... Oh, that's it. There we go. All of the uh, characters' starting items are on that pedestal that I was expecting it to be on, but it wasn't. Now, there's, a, there's an item at the front here, which I honestly can't remember the function of. Can you fight amongst yourselves? Or very much like some sort of... Uh, what am I trying to say here? I would like... Charm shots or something. What the heck? Get as much HP back from these sons of a bitches as you can. Right, so we're going to have to be very careful with our positioning here, but I think that's okay. I feel like I'm doing a lot better than I would have been in, in the original playthrough of this. Of course, in the original playthrough of this, I wouldn't have been so foolish as to try and do it on hard mode. But there you go. I guess we want to try and get rid of these. I do remember this level, but I don't... I remember seeing this level, but I don't remember playing this level. So, I have some idea of what I'm looking at. Oh god. Let's just hide behind this tree. Do that. Just about. Oh shit, what happened? I think there's something below me. Okay, that's bad. Um, this seems to be more difficult on- oh heck. A serpent. A serpent shot me. Very well. I think this is probably more difficult as the cleric than as any other character, for the simple reason that the cleric has really bad weapons. <laughs> Help. Disc of Repulsion. Oh shit. On my head. No thank you. Let's go down here. That seems like a great idea. Right, this is uh this is a new type of enemy as well. They live in the in the groves and they come out and grab you. Like, they disappear. They have no hitbox. You can't run into them until they pop up. And then you have to kill them. There we go. Although on the cleric, we get HP back, so I'm a fan of that. Alright, we're in a sort of a safe spot suddenly. I can't remember what I was saying. I was trying to get the disc of repulsion, but, but I don't know what to do with it, so. <laughs> I guess we just. Wow, that was a great dodge. I guess we just uh, deal with it. Notice how there's a current when you're in the water, but when you uh, get out of the water, there isn't. The thought of everything in this game, and it's the sort of things that you would expect. So, um, I guess you say lesser games to have difficulty with. Like, it may be one of those sort of bugs that you just deal with because it's the game, right? God. Run. Just strafe around and try and get some damage done to these bastards. Ah, we can actually go up there. Which may be a terrible idea, but it's not too late to make mistakes. I think the problem here is that we're going to run out of mana very quickly. I'm not sure if any of these items... Oh, crap. Will, uh... Will assist. I guess it can't hurt to try, right? I have a feeling that the, uh, urn that we picked up, two of now, actually refills your mana, where in Heretic it would refill your health. I may still be wrong. You fight amongst yourselves, so I can deal with these bastards. Oh, crap! Where are you? Good. Maybe the trick is just to get them to shoot each other. Did that thing just track my shot? Fire a tracking shot to track my position. I don't believe the AI is that good, but I wouldn't put it past uh, Raven Software. Poisoned by a serpent. I must have got shot from behind and not realised. This is, um, trying. I'll be honest. Oh, falling damage as well. That was added in this game. For my sole benefit, no doubt. So now we hide here and wait for the Afrits to get back. Or like, Asfrits, am I right? So yes. Just agree. Agree with the person in control. Oh shit, I genuinely thought that had not hit me. I I don't know what the Mystic Urn does. 
Another banishment device. I think that gets rid of one enemy completely. Of course, we can't, uh, we can't exploit the infinite high axes to hit them either. In Doom, you could use them, to, you could melee them. If you could walk into them, you could melee them, basically. Um, but that is not the case here. What is this dodging I'm doing? See how they show up? I believe that is literally where they are. Uh, what did I use? Oh, shit. I used the Wings of Wrath, but that's a brilliant idea. Well done, me. That's basically why I picked him up, after all. Right, let's go over here and sort this bastard out. There we go. Now, the Wings of Wrath basically ruin a level. In the sense that... Any exploration you were intended to do to get from A to B, you no longer have to do. But uh, I'm kind of okay with that. More smashable windows, no doubt. Aww, oh, still got hit. I don't know if you're enjoying watching me fuck this up royally over and over again, but I'm going to continue to do so. <laughs> Hold tight. I've gone quiet because I want to actually succeed <laughs> for once. I feel like I should save Scummy just because I'm doing so badly. Take some mana and then jump off. Good. Now get in here. Kill this bastard. Where are you? Anyway. At least it locks on to them. Use some HP. Use some HP. Whatever. I think this plan sort of C sort of thing with the... Uh, with the wings. It's probably the best way of going about it. I mean, consider how difficult the wings of Wrath would have been to deal with previously. Wow. That has a lot of HP. Right, we'll, we'll understand that. We might as well figure out what Mr. Hearn does. First race. Right, very well. I mean, there's no way you could have done these sort of uh, standard FPS dodges in uh, 1995 using the mouse and keyboard. This is really hard. <laughs> Why am I here? What have I done? I don't know if it does less damage or more when it's in uh, health drain mode, to be honest. Maybe it just does the same amount that you're guaranteed to hit. Right, we'll use this. We'll keep this up. Let's get rid of these um, Afrits to start with. Let's get rid of this. I love going faster than my own shots. Luckily, you can't really be hit by them. But I, I still... <laughs> half expect to be, if you see what I mean. Let's go and get that armor. That might help. Does that work straight away? I don't know. There is a little spinning um, icon at the top. Don't even see that. That represents how much wings are rough. Not how much is left, but it'll flash. So we'll uh, top right, by the way. For those of you uh, keeping score at home. Oh, hello. Use one of these. We'll hide around here and try not to die too much. Simple as that. No worries. Luckily, we got a lot wider a range of vision than we would ever have had originally playing this game. So we'll get rid of these bastards. I think picking up the wings of Wrath and then flying around this is exactly how they intended you to do it. Um, but, you know, you had to know up front. And, well, you didn't, did you? You have to play the game a second time. In fact, I hadn't thought of it ever until literally this episode when we started doing this. So there you go. We're making some progress. I don't know what this does. Do you know what? I reckon this banishment device here... Our oh, Wings of Wrath are still going. Has it spread? No. It just teleports to somewhere else. That's the worst thing. What does Chaos Device do? Oh, it teleports me back. It does do the same as Heretic. Her Her Heretic. So there's that. Right, and then... Uh, the other one, the... Pushy Away Device, whatever it's called. It's called something that sounded like Pushy Away Device. Um, will push things... That Disc of Repulsion. It pushes things... It gives you some room, basically. Some melee space. Right, we're doing alright here. When this is over, I am safe scumming it and you can't stop me. Okay? And the reason for that is I've already done it three fucking times. There was Wings of Wrath in Heretic. Um, it was an item. And it has been ported across to this Heretic spiritual successor. Uh, Hexen. 
And I think it's quite an interesting concept for a game oh, yeah. like this. Because it's not truly 3D. So the the, the Z axis has a lot less work in it than in a game like Quake, and I was saying earlier. Possibly in the last episode, I kinda of lost track. There's a lot of um there's a lot of stuff that maybe you would have we have to hit. We literally have to hit this. We literally have to hit this. Okay, okay. Um, there's a lot of sort of Z axis work in, in a game like Quake that was just never conceived of in a game like Hexen or Heretic because you just couldn't overlap things. And that's not the first time because the first time for all of that would have been in Duke Nukem 3D or possibly was it Strife? I don't know whether Strife had Z axis work, but it did have. Um, it had slopes. Both Strife and Duke 3D. We are still flying, by the way. Just want to say how awesome these Wings of Wrath are because they have yet to run out, which is sweet. Um, the slopes was just uh, an extra thing on, you know, I was talking about sectors earlier in the series. It's just uh, a property of the sector that one end is higher than the other. I'm pressing shift as though it would send me downwards. It does not. There's no such thing. Pardon me. I'll survive this somehow. We're still flying. I'm hoping to get somewhere down here in which flying would be a major benefit to us, but I, I'm not sure it would be. Okie dokie. Somehow we get through those, and I, I thought you had to smash them, but apparently not. Guess we go over here. See what we can win. Take this helmet. Yep. Oh, I'm not going to worry too much about these uh, Etins down here. This is obviously a trap. Take the mana, please. Because we're not standing on the ground, we can't actually pick up the mana. Which is another thing Quake addressed, because of course everything being addressed in a 3D space, it, it meant that you, you literally could pick up anything by being in the right place. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Apparently going in this way opens everything up. Interesting. That was terrible timing. I poisoned myself. They didn't know such a thing was possible. It is. Obviously I've done it before. It's interesting how these uh, shots that have poisoned me do not poison the enemies. It would be great if they did. Excuse me. What the fuck? At least uh, the Z-axis works against the enemies. They have presumably a spherical size or a cylindrical size. It's a terrible idea. It's very frustrating. Our Queens of Wrath are going forever. When do they stop? I thought they would have stopped ages ago. I'm willing to believe that this is a bug and it should have stopped a long time ago and in this OpenGL version, for some reason, uh, they have managed to omit the timer. Because this is actually a rebuild of the engine that allows for OpenGL work rather than uh, an extension of the original. Why am I doing this? It doesn't matter. Pick up the HP. Stop trying to drain their health. It's not worth it. And these are the uh, Isaac type self motivational talks that I do. Not the. Oh god. Right. I remember now. I actually used these. Oh, that was really bad. Uh, in my own level. I made four of them and you had to collect them, put them on pedestals. I remember doing it because I remember programming an earthquake and it was great. That one didn't run out of memory, I figured it out by then. So, there's more mana, which is handy. Guess we're flying forever. I don't know how this opens, but it obviously does. Because it's one of these games. There's a lot of tropes that you can rely on. I'm going to kill these as well. Because uh, I'm not a fan of them being in my, in my swamp whilst I'm trying to exit the level. So, here we go. You can hear when they've gone. They stopped sliming around. There we go. We're back to full health. Yeah, I'm starting to think that maybe... Oh, you can go in the water as well, can you? You little cheeky little bastards. 
You can entice them out of the water by being close to the water but not in it. I believe. But it's easier just to get them by standing in the water. They do a lot of damage. So, do be careful. Anything up here? No. Just a edge of the world type thing to avoid it actually being the edge of the world. You can hear them sliming around, so they must be in here somewhere. Again, slightly awkward, 1995. We have to forgive them this, because of everything else they've done with such a limited amount of uh, you know, engine and computing power at the time. It's not just the hex and engine, it's the people's computers that had to run it. Yeah, our Wings of Wrath should have ended ages ago, so... The only thing is, it's irritating. <laughs> I can't, um, can't turn it off. I probably can with a cheat, but I'm not going to Google for that right now. I'm assuming it'll have ended in the next, like when we go back to the seven portals, but who knows. How the heck? Oh, we can break that one. Very well. That turned that off. I'm a fan of it turning that off. We can break that one, but not that one. So maybe we can only break it from one direction, which is another thing that Hexen made possible that had never been done before. I'm probably just going to stop saying things like that <laughs> over and over a fucking again. Stop going on about the things that Hexen can do and nobody else did. Very well. So be it. So open that. It's probably open that. So you put the, the heart in the heart pedestal and that's... What's that? I'll use this because I should. And there's our secret level. Now what? <laughs> I was going to say there's a secret level done, but... Ooh. Ah, okay. I'm lagging out slightly. Uh, that's not you. It's me. I'm not sure why. I'm going to try and finish this level in this episode, so it's going to go on a little bit longer than previous episodes will have done. But, uh, I'm not sure what I need to do now. Let's have a look at the map. don't really know. Hmm. Thank you for the HP. So that'll be the way we tried to go in before. Uh. Do I have to kill everything? Sounds like there's another slimy dude around. Maybe I'll have to do another amateurish cut. We did two in the last episode. Far too many. Hope you enjoy the effects I no doubt added to them. I say that because I haven't actually rendered the previous video yet. Come on, man. Let me out. I wonder why they chose to do that um, shiny thing there. I have no doubt that people in the comments are telling me exactly how to do this, but as it stands, no idea. Let's go around this one, one more time. Is there a switch? Maybe there's a switch that I haven't um, thrown. Honestly, I just thought you had to put this in here and then you could leave. Map. F for follow mode. There we go. So you can see the uh, you can see the portal there in the middle. So somehow we have to get through that. I have seen everything up there. Those are flying. Oh, I see stairs at the back. We go up these stairs. Here we go. Oh shit. Use more mana. I don't care. At this point, we just kill everything and hope for the best. We're still flying. So I'm guessing we're not supposed to be. Luckily, whoever uh, <laughs> whoever did the user experience part of the game decided that if you are flying, your head should do the same thing as your feet when going downstairs and cause you to go downwards as your stair as your feet cause you to go upwards. Ooh. There's one of those rooks. I forget what it does, but I'm pretty sure it's cool. I think it turns things into rooks, actually. Much like the chickenator did. I can love the defender. Yes. I believe that walking across here will have opened the way out. I hope so. Because we're leaving, and there's, we're actually leaving mana behind, so I think we did okay in that respect. Does that look like it's moved? Yes. 
that noise means you're very afraid. Dead. Honestly, these things are not as terrifying when you've got this. Because you can drain all their HP. They do hit hard. Kind of expecting a red mana ball back there. Because they hit hard. You're obviously not going to get the HP back that you're draining from them, but they sort of don't seem to hit you whilst you're doing that. Yeah, we're still flying, so I'm going to have to do something about this before the next episode, but we're going to jump through this portal and uh, see where we end up. Here's Secret of Wraith Verge. That will be our final... Um, our final piecemeal weapon. I don't know if I've talked about that yet, but I'll talk about it in the next episode. Wherein we will jump through this portal and I will have fixed the flying thing. And thank you for watching. I'll see you then.